So we have the part, the board, after the plater, we have some tape. Um, we need to mount the board um, onto the machine. Um, but we need to make sure that we get the board in the right orientation. There's a top side and a bottom side, and we want to make sure we get it aligned right. So when you bring up your design on the screen, it's going to show you the computer-aided manufacturing view, the machining view. Um, and we're going to look to see that everything is lined up the same way. So as I look at the board, I see that there's some drill holes that are going to be in the left side of my board. If this is the bottom, they line up. If I flip the board over onto its top, they don't line up. I also want to make sure that if they're on the left-hand side, that they're at the top of the board like they are in the picture. So comparing the picture to the design tells me that I have the board in the right orientation, that this is the bottom and that would be the top. We're going to mill the bottom first. So now that I've matched that orientation, I'm going to use this uh, masking tape. This masking tape helps the vacuum table hold the board in place. Um, every once in a while, um, the board can slip. It doesn't usually. But now that we've spent hours processing the board and the plater, we don't want to take any chances. And my goal here is to just get the edges, and so now it's going to be safe. We'll close the, the hood of the machine. So at this point, the board is taped down and we are ready to resume processing. We want to click on the play, the start processing, uh, the shown phase, and all following phases to resume processing. But I want to make sure that we have mount material bottom selected. So if I look at the different phases, we've done the plating. This is the next phase. We hit start and the board, the, produ the board production wizard will resume. And at this stage, the machine's going to use its cameras to find the holes on the corner of the board to make sure that it's aligned the proper way and make any adjustments that are necessary. The machine will park the currently held tool. And then it will attempt to identify the four corners. It's going to come up with a dialog box and ask us to confirm the focus. So if we look at the picture, the picture looks pretty clean. I'll click on yes, that looks like the right focus height. And now the machine is going to go and attempt to find the fiducial holes that we put in when we made the board. Once it finds all four, Uh, the software will adjust the layout of the board and it will proceed now. Okay, so at this point the machine has finished processing the bottom of the board and if you look in at your work, you can see if there's any obvious errors on the board that maybe look like they need to be reprocessed, this would be a good time to do it. And one of the cool tricks you can do is using the software in the processing control window, we'll drag it out just a little bit, instead of choosing the milling head, we can actually choose the camera tool and then we can use the mouse cursor and we can zoom in to some part of our board that we're interested in. And the software will actually put the camera right over the uh, feature that we've selected and we can autofocus. Um, it has to put the tool away before it can autofocus so that it doesn't jam the tool into the board. And so we can actually use the built-in microscope and inspect 
the quality of work on the board um, down here in the camera window. And then we can use the jogging tool to move the head around. Um, set it for one millimeter and then you can actually visually inspect what it's done. Um, maybe pick a different area. So for example, here's a pair of holes that are right next to each other. We can actually look to see uh, how the machine is done. If we decide that we need to reprocess something, we can enable the mouse cursor, or disable the mouse cursor, go back to machining, and we can either um, pick just one toolpath, and we'll zoom in. Um, I can pick the part that I want to redo, right click and choose process selected elements, and the machine would reprocess that particular part. So maybe we've, we found that it didn't insulate that, we could reprocess just that one. Or we could reprocess whole chunks of an area by dragging and clicking and dragging over an area. But in this case, the board looks great. And now we can pull the tape off. I always try to reuse the tape if I can, just to save a little money. And we flip it, it was this way. We flip it across the center. We do not flip it this way. So this is how it was, we flip it across the top. Press it down, tape it down. Um, we can select the next step, which is to, um, it says flip material. And when we zoom out, we can get a picture of what the board is supposed to look like. And I can look for the holes uh, there. This board doesn't have many holes, um, but there's a pair of holes there. And there should be some structure going up on the side. And so I can double check over on the board and make sure that I see um, those holes on the, these will be the fiducial holes. Those are the two pin holes that are on the bottom left hand side of each of these boards. So that verifies that the board is, uh, is oriented correctly. We'll put the hood down and we'll click on the start processing. It says a tool is going to expire shortly. Um, it's okay. At this point I'll just say ignore and the machine will resume where it was. It will try to align those fiducial holes now that we flipped it on the top. It has, the board may have changed position. So the camera is going to search for those holes again and then we'll continue milling. That's it.